Hey guys, the Great Mid here today with my first review of the Acer Asper 1ZG5. So let's get started. We're gonna fly. Okay guys, so here's the Acer Asper 1ZG5. Back in 2008, the Acer Asper 1ZG5 came with two versions. The Windows XP version, which came a 1.6 GHz dual core Atom processor, 1 GB of RAM and 100 GB of hard drive storage, and the Olympus Linux Lite version, which came also in 2008 with the Olympus Linux Lite 1.6, 100 GB hard drive, 512 MB of RAM, and a 1.6 GHz dual core Atom processor. Let's take a look at our shell. On the left side, we have one USB 3.0 port, an SD card reader, an Ethernet port, and a VGA out, as well as our charger at the very back. On the right here, we have two USB 3.0s, an audio jack, and a microphone jack. We also have a built-in microphone at the very back and another SD card reader. Now, this is the Olympus Linux Lite version, although it is running Android 4.0.4. If you'd like to see a tutorial on how to install Android 4.0.4 on the Acer Aspire 1 with all drivers included, please leave a like and drop a comment. So let's get started. Let's take a look at the inside of this laptop. Laptop. Okay guys, so here's the laptop itself. It currently weighs only three pounds. It has a two megapixel webcam front-facing camera so you can take pictures of ourselves. Mmm, it's nasty. We also have a two-hour battery life depending on what Linux version you have. If you're running Olympus Linux Lite, you will have a battery life of three hours. If you're running any different Linux, you will have two hours or less. This laptop has a Wi-Fi card here at the bottom right, which is able to be enabled and disabled with that switch. So let's watch it boot up Android 4.0.4. I'll be back with you once it's booted up. Okay guys, so here is the system actually booted up. Let's just wait for this thing to focus. Sorry about that guys. Alright, nice. So as you can see, this is Android 4.0.4. It is fairly modern and is not that old. This version supports my trackpad, it supports my webcam, and all my drivers. Luckily for me. By far, this is the best Linux distribution to put on this laptop, as it is the most fastest. Sorry about that guys, sometimes the lock screen does not want to work and all you have to do is just press the power button and it'll start working again. So now we are presented with the Nova Launcher. As you can see, before this operating system comes with the original Go Launcher or Google Launcher, but I found it too heavyweight for me, and I find the Nova Launcher much faster. Now this is a legitimate Android version, and it will work with most apps. This Android version comes pre-installed with the camera, YouTube, Google Play, and all essential Android 4.0 apps. Let's take a look at the camera. As you can see, the camera actually works, and hello, I am filming on a tablet, yes, because I have no other type of recording device. As you just saw there, the camera does work, all the buttons do work also. I can multitask, I can press the home button to go back to my home screen and I can press the back button. They all work. The touchpad buttons work also. If I want to open up a resnap, let's do that with the mouse button. As you can see, it does in fact work. Now I'm sorry my reaction time is a little bit slower here because I am have to look through the screen of the tablet. Since I can't see over this thing, I need to make sure the camera is on. Now I'm going to show you guys that this is an actual legitimate version of Android. Some of you may not believe me. And as you can see, this Android is optimized for the desktop. I will leave a link to the website that has all types of Android versions. This is the EPC Android 4.0.4. Now I don't think you can see this, but the kernel version is the 3.0.35 Android X86 EEPC Plus. The build number is the EEPC User Debug 4.0.4. .4. Now when you first download this operating system, it does come rooted and it does have developer options need on on. So do not worry about anything. Now there's an advantage with this root device as now I can run other apps like Greenify which will shut down all my inactive apps that start automatically. Those are always annoying. Okay guys, thanks for watching my quick review of the Android 4.0.4 .4 Acer Aspire 1 ZG5. Now just once again a reminder, this laptop did not come with Android 4.0.4 .4 installed. It usually came with Olympus Linux Lite 1.6. So this is the 512 megabytes model which means it's pretty much rendered useless unless you put an effective operating system on this. Now trust me, I know this operating system is perfect for it because I've tested many different Linux distributions such as Lubuntu, Ubuntu Nepper Remix, Easy Peasy Linux, and Trisco Mini Linux. Puppy Linux is just unacceptable on the system as I know it can perform better. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.